Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup review slash demo. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay guys, so today I'm going to re be reviewing the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I have it in the color Bernard's. This thing has kind of like broke the internet when it first came out. Everybody had to get their hands on it and was reviewing it. As you guys know, I got it soon, not soon as it came out, but fairly early. But it took me a little longer to get this review up because I had mixed thought on, thoughts on this thing, girl. So I do have me um, a video of me applying this, so I'm just going to show you that now and kind of like talk you through. So what I did was it's recommended to use about one or two pumps for this. This is like a lighter medium um, coverage foundation, but I use more than those. I use probably like three or four pumps. And what I did was I wanted to see the coverage, so I applied it only on one side of my face first, and I kind of like blended it in. As you can see, it's very, very sheer, um, and it's super duper light. The texture is very watery and wet, and I noticed that it did not cover very well at all on one side of my face without any concealer. You can still see the darkness under my eyes. It just wasn't the coverage that I was looking for. So what I did it was I went to the other side of my face and I concealed um, on that side of my face first and then I applied the foundation on top and I noticed that the concealer just brought everything all out so you definitely need a concealer with this foundation again it is it it does say it's a light to medium coverage so it's not for full coverage girls like you and I <laughs> So I do recommend a concealer, it just gives a better finish. So before I move along, you may hear some noise in the background. One, it's thundering outside, like it's super storming. Or two, I'm by like this generator thing. My window is by it, so if you hear that, hopefully my mic doesn't pick up on it. Hopefully the music in the background kind of like, you know, leveled that out. But if you hear it, my apologies. So as I say, it's a very wet, watery foundation. Um, It's easy to blend, but when you shake it up, it's you can hear like, water you know like it's super wet and watery which can be super messy thank god it has a pump to it because girl if this did not have one i could just see it coming out everywhere um so that's perfect this is also a luminous foundation so luminous meaning it's going to kind of like give you that dewy glowy sweaty look if that's the look that you want i do not like the coverage on this and a part of the reason why I did get it was because it was just like everybody's getting it, everybody's talking so great about it, so it can't be that bad. Do I honestly feel like it's a foundation you need? No, I do not. Out of a five, I rate it maybe a two or three, only because I don't see what the hype is. It's super wet, um, and it doesn't it doesn't cover everything. Now, if you are not if you have like a flawless face already and you just want to put this on, I guess you can, I can understand why, you know, you love this foundation. Because, I mean, it applies very smoothly. But for $50 or $60, no, girl, you do not need this in your thing, in your kit. And when I first got this thing about a month ago, I hated it, honestly. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the worst thing ever. I hated it. I actually did a review, like a semi-small review on my Instagram page about four or five weeks ago. And um, basically, I was just saying you don't need it. And I still say that you don't need it. However, I do ha have more practice to work with this and kind of learn this foundation. Um, so I was looking at Makeup Game on Point, and she was reviewing this foundation. And she was kind of like me. She hated it when she first got it, but it kind of grew on her, and now she's in love with it. I'm not necessarily in love with it. But what she did show me was a powder that she used, and it paired really, really well with her. And it looked really, really good on her skin, so I'm like, oh my god, I gotta have it. So basically, she got this NARS. This is a soft velvet loose powder. I didn't even know NARS had this, especially not in my color. Now, this is not sold at Sephora online. I didn't see it. I don't even think it's in a Sephora store, but I did get this from Nordstrom. And I think... Don't let me lie to you. I can't even, I don't even know how much it costs. But this is in the color, what, Valley, which is the darkest color. And guys, honestly, this is a little darker than me. I was super shocked. I'm like, what? This is a little dark. What? I was shocked that NARS had it. But it paired really, really well with this foundation. She was so right. Like, once I wore this with it, I'm like, oh, I might can wear this a lot now. Because one thing that I didn't like was the color on this. This color left a gigantic difference on my face. Like, you could totally see, like, yeah, that ain't her color. I just didn't like it at all. And I'm just, I'm not going to walk around with a foundation that is just totally mismatched from me. So, um, 
I use this and my fix it all to foundations that don't match is a powder. Um, you can always pair with either darker or lighter powder, powder depending on the foundation color, you know, depending on your problem with the foundation. So since this was darker and this is a little bit too orange for me, this kind of like brought everything together and it worked very, very well. As I said, I just freshened up maybe like 10 minutes ago, but you can kind of see like a little um, oiliness on my face. because So I'm kind of going to show you what I mean. Um, I'm just going to, I just love the finish it gives. And I'm just going to pat this right here on my face. Can you see that? So this powder, oh my gosh, I was just like, wow, I really, 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 really like it. Like when I finished, you know, once I was done going on my whole face routine, I put, put this powder on and it just worked very, very well with this foundation. So I do suggest if you are in the color Benars and you're looking and if it's a little too orange for you or it's just not exactly what, it's not matching you perfect, try this powder. Again, this is too much. I mean, I'm not even recommending you to spend your money on both. This, I really do like. I'm happy I picked this up. But this is just ridiculous. But if you just have to have it, girl, try both of these together. As far as oiliness, again, this is a luminous foundation. So, it gives you like that dewy, loomy, um, greasy look. That's the job of this foundation. I did get pretty oily pretty quick, but I already have oily skin, so working with a luminous foundation is not the best thing for me, but it's okay. Um, out of five, I still rate it like a two. I probably will reach for it more since I do have that powder to pair it with, but it's not a must-have foundation, no, honestly. Like, it's not a must-have. However, it does look good on the skin, as you see now that I know how to work it, girl. If it wasn't for that powder, I'd be telling y'all, if I didn't have that powder and I was pairing it with one of my other MAC or um, CoverGirl powders, I would tell you, hell no, don't get it. But that powder just changed my whole perspective on it. So, if you, you know, I really like the look now. I feel like it looks, it looks perfect. It brought everything together. Um, that powder works well with this foundation so so guys i hope this wasn't repetitive or it was just too long i like to review foundations in depth and stuff so this is the nars all day luminous weightless foundation paired with the soft velvet loose powder by nars in the color valley which i totally recommend you can get it from nordstrom i'm going to leave the link down below because i couldn't find it before i bought this from nordstrom so yeah anyways thumbs up um, I hope you like this. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. I'm Nini Tanae to all my new subbies. Hey, booze. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.